Hi, Glenn here from GMT Point and Specialist Limited. Uh, right, this is some lime that I've took out of a property. Uh, you can send your pieces of lime off to be analysed and they can give you a sand um, that will match um, your building. But it's a, quite an expensive way because you've got to pay for it to be analysed and you've got to pay extra for their sand and then get it delivered. So what I do is get an old bowl Make sure you put something under your bowl because you're going to be putting um, white vinegar on it. And what I do is I pour the white vinegar in and it'll fizz. That fizzing tell, that tells me it's lime. Right, so what I'll do is I'll leave that in overnight and uh, let it break down. And then I'll look at the sands and see what's in it. I know there's chalk in it. Uh, I know there's black flecks in it, so we'll just see if it's brown sand or round red sand. The local quarries around here are brown sand. Uh, the way I do it is I break it down, go to my local quarry with my little sample, and I'll look at the sands that I've got. But I've got round about 10 different bags of samples here, so I don't need to keep going back and forward to the quarries. But if you've not got one, uh, the best way is... Either go down your local builder's merchants, they'll only have like one or two types of sand. Uh, but you need it washed, wash sharp or grit sand, depending on how wide your joints are. So that'll break down nicely overnight. Um, what you can do is just try and crush it up. Start crushing it up so it, it doesn't take as long. But you can use... Uh, you know, any type of white vinegar, you can use apple cider vinegar, but you want it clear so you can see all the aggregates the next day. <clears throat> I'll take some close-up photographs with a microscope so you can see where it started like before, and then we can take some photographs of the microscope after to see all the different sands that are in it. That'll fizz away for hours. So this is the following day after uh, the white vinegar's been in it. So that's what you expect to see. So what I'll do is I'll get rid of the excess white vinegar and we can have a look through a microscope uh, to see what's actually in there. All right, this is it under a microscope, but you can just do it with a torch. Um, you can see all the little black stones, white stones. So this picture's not brilliant. It's a lot better looking through your naked eye, really. But I just wanted to show you all the different grains of sand. Like, we're in North Wales, so we get brown sand. And if I put the sand that I'm going to use under the microscope... Um... All right, I wanted to show you the different types of sand that we get here. This is a real gritty sand very coarse this is a very soft one so i could mix these both together um, these are slightly coarse this is darker than this one so it depends what kind of color i want to get at the end of the job and that's quite a soft soft grit sand uh, but they're all different stages of grittiness soft and very gritty so i'll mix them i'll you know you could take one of these one of these and one of these mix them or you can mix and match just depends how gritty you want the, the job to be uh, this one's very popular up here this is my local sand um, but if i'm doing wider joints i might add a bit of grit to it so i might do two of these and one of these and one lime so it depends what colour you want uh, the jobs to go. Um, 
down south it's more of a yellow sand uh, some properties look really nice yellow um, North Wales we don't go for the white pointing I don't particularly like white pointing on a on a property um, so that's just a little example of the sands we get and you can mix and match but they're all washed um, you know always use the wash sharp sand and that's how I choose what I'm going to do